Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how life is simply a mirror. It's just mirroring you back to yourself. This is another way to speak about everyone as you pushed out. One of people who love Neville Goddard, one of our favorite topics, of course, everyone as you pushed out. But let's just do a deep dive. How is it that life is just a mirror? What does that really mean? How can you use this in your in your reality, your manifesting practices, all of that. Before I jump in, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I offer lots of self-study manifesting courses. There are 14 courses down there. I can help you manifest anything you want. Last thing I'll say is I'm posting a lot on Instagram these days, so come on over and follow me. My Instagram handle is Shelly Bullard Love, and I think there's a link somewhere on this banner that you can click and just come follow me and check out my stories, all of that. Okay, let's talk about this. Life is a mirror. It is just reflecting you back to yourself. What does this mean? Because actually people can get this a little bit confused. Let's talk about that first. I think how people confuse this concept that life is a mirror is they think it means if someone is doing something out there, it must mean you're doing it within. So let's say if someone is... Um, Let's see, if someone is depressed out there, it must mean that, and, and you're inter having some sort of interaction with them, it must mean that you are depressed within. This isn't quite what it means. So it's not that what you see happening out there means you are as well. That's not what it means. It actually means that life is going to reflect back to you what you dominantly believe about it. What you dominantly believe about life itself, what you dominantly believe about other people, what you dominantly believe about yourself is what's going to be reflected back to you. The way it's reflected back to you is essentially life is going to show you and say, yes, what you believe is true is true. What you really believe about yourself is tr like what you think is true about yourself is true and how it reflects us back to ourselves is people out there will tell you or show you that what you think and feel about yourself is how they see you as well this is essentially what it means okay so how this relates to everyone as you pushed out is your dominant state of being beliefs thoughts feelings about certain subjects is what you're going to experience out there. And when I say out there, I even mean out there in yourself. So an easy one is talking about money. Money is an easy one for us to understand because money is an object and it just, it can seem a little easier than, a, than relationships. So let's talk about money first. How life will mirror you back to yourself is if you, in the most dominant way, feel wealthy most of the time, feel like you can buy anything you want, feel like nothing's off limits to you, feel like you're totally safe when it comes to money, and I'm using the word feelings, it's like a deeper inner experience of, yeah, I'm good with money, yeah, I have plenty of money, I have enough money to buy anything I want. You can make it specific too. I'm a millionaire. I have $100,000 in my bank account. It doesn't matter. You can be specific. Um, the only thing with specifics is you want to have the general feelings as well, right? So if you're saying, I'm a millionaire, you also want to generally feel wealthy, like you can buy anything you want, like you have enough money for anything most of the time. And that's going to be your dominant state of being, or we can also say your self-concept when it comes to money. So how life is going to mirror that inner experience back to you is you're going to naturally create a reality where that is all true. That's all true. Money is going to show up in your reality. Who knows how it's going to? Maybe you'll work for it or maybe who knows how it's going to happen, but you will naturally be guided to create a reality where those inner dominant states are absolutely true. So basically life is saying back to you, yep, all that is true. Yeah, you are a millionaire. 
Yeah, you do have $100,000 in your bank account. Yeah, you can buy anything you want. Yeah, you're totally secure with money. So this is why we change our inner state, right? You want to start operating from, you know, eventually it's a belief system that says, I am this person. Now, the way we get to a new belief system or a new state of be dominant state of being, of being wealthy is some people use affirmations. You tell yourself you are wealthy more often. You tell yourself you have a million dollars. You tell yourself these new thoughts. Now, the reason we not only tell ourselves the new thoughts, but we feel like that is who we are, is because that's the, the feeling is actually the thing that's changing your dominant state of being. You need to feel like a millionaire. You know, think about it this way. If you were a millionaire, if you were a millionaire, you already had a million dollars in your bank account, would you feel like a millionaire? Yeah. That doesn't mean you'd walk around and every second of the day be thinking, I'm a millionaire and be feeling like you're a millionaire. No, but when you tuned into the subject of money, you would have the felt sense of, I can buy anything I want. I have so much money. I have $100,000 in my bank account. Again, you would be, you would, that all would be how you would feel. And so, this is what manifesting is all about. It's changing the inner state to get a new response from life out there. Because life is just going to reflect you back and say, yep, who you think you are in a dominant way is who you are. So moving on to relationship, how, how is a relationship mirrored back to you? You know, the main thing we can do if we're manifesting a relationship doesn't matter if it's a specific person or new person. The main thing you can do is you need to start to feel like you're in a relationship. You need to start to think those new thoughts that say, I'm in the most incredible relationship of my life. You want to add on who you're in that relationship with, add in your specific person. Great. Go ahead and add in your specific person. But you need to feel like you are the person who's in the relationship now. By feeling like you are in the relationship now, by thinking the thoughts of being in the new relationship, and very importantly, feeling like you are in a relationship, by changing your inner world, I love my partner, I love how we are together, we're such an, in an incredible relationship, however you're going to do that, you're going to change it with inner conversations, with visualizations, with however you're going to change it, you want to change your dominant inner state to, I'm in an amazing relationship. I'm a wife. I'm fully taken care of. I'm fully cherished. I'm fully loved. And as you become that new person, you think and feel like that new person, life has to give you the reflection that says, yes, you are a wife. Yes, you are cherished. Yes, you are completely adored. So this is how life is a mirror. It is reflecting who you think and feel and believe you are back to you, as well as what you think about life itself. What you think about other people will also become true. So this is where it gets into, you know, changing other people. The way we change other people is we start seeing them differently. You start seeing them differently. You start seeing them as the version of them that you know they're meant to be, you know that they are. And that's how you shift them as well. Everything in your life is going to reflect back to you what you most dominantly believe is true, okay? This is the core of manifesting. This is how it works. You know, when you get used to it, it's really, it's, it's simple. It's simple. So all of my courses below teach how to manifest really main categories of life. And this is what I'm helping you do in those courses. I'm helping you shift your dominant thoughts, your dominant feelings, your dominant state of being. I'm helping you step into the new person who already has your desire. That's all you have to do. Okay, guys? Okay, thank you so much for being here with me. I love being here with you. I'll see you soon.